Hey, what's up guys, Malik is here. In today's tutorial, I will show you how to create a timeline like this inside of Fusion. Let's get started. So let's start by adding a text node like this and type maybe step one, change the size and create two more text. So we have something like this. Here is going to be step two and change the position of the step one to point one. Sorry. And step three, change the position to point nine. So we have something like this. Now we're going to add our uh, line here. So create a background and add mask paint so we have and connect this one here and you can see that we have nothing yet go to the mask paint node and click on the polygon here now shift click on your keyboard and add a point here and then add another point here so we have this straight line if you want to move the line the point here make sure to click on shift so it moves on a straight line like this so this is what we have go back to background and change the color to white and go back to mask paint and change the brush control to square and decrease the size to something like 0 .0, 0 0.01 so this is what we have now we're gonna add uh, a circle so let's add background node and the circle or ellipse and connect it like this change the background color to white and change the size of the circle something like this bring it down the middle of the line and uh, that's it now let's start by animating our text first so go to text one go to frame 10 go to layout add the keyframe in the center and go to shading and add another keyframe beside the opacity go back to frame zero go to layout bring the y like this and change the shading to zero so we get something like this now this looks good let's do the same thing to the text too go to frame 40 go to layout add the keyframe to the center and to the opacity go back to frame 30 go to layout change it like this and go to shading and bring it down to zero so we get something like this and let's do the same thing to the text 3 go to frame 70 add the keyframe to the shading and the layout or the center go to frame 60 bring the y a little bit down and the shading or opacity to zero so we get something like this step one then step two then step three now in order to animate our line there are there is two ways the first one is go by going to the mask painter go to the stroke control and you can control the right on so you can make it appear like this add the keyframe then move it here add the keyframe and then move it here add the keyframe then go back to the ellipse and do the same thing change the center add the keyframe and so on but there is a better way just by uh, right click on the center click on publish then go to the mask paint click on the second point here right click go to polyline stroke then go to publish and click on publish point if we go to the modifier you can see the point here we can control it like this now simply right click here and connect to the ellipse one center and you can see now that it follows the ellipse if we go to the ellipse and change the value here you can see that the line moves with the ellipse now we're gonna simply just animate the ellipse so we go to frame 10 frame 10 bring this down like this 
to maybe 0.1 add the keyframe then go to frame 30 and add another keyframe to 0.5 same thing go to frame 40 add another keyframe and don't change anything then finally go to frame 60 and change the value to 0.9 so this is what we have step one step two then step three and this is a quick tutorial on how to create a timeline using davinci resolve and on the fusion page you can make it a little bit better by adding a kind of 3d effect by adding a dve node connect your merge 3 to the dve and bring the dve here and you can change the y-axis like this and make it kind of 3d or maybe change it this way like this change the z points and this is what we have finally just connect it to your media outer and this is the final result so guys i hope you like this tutorial make sure to like subscribe and you can get free templates on my coffee page in the link in the description below see you in the next time